Hello guys, how are you doing? So I hope you're doing good. I just went to take, well, I, first I have just finished one of my group training session with like great participants who had like a lot of questions uh, about how to be uh, like, how to increase uh, their like traffic, how to get like this session was about how to get the right keywords how to know which keywords to use, how to like optimize it, uh, how to add new keywords uh, uh, with uh, with time. So this was like a great session again. I, I love the session. And uh, but I also what I wanted to say uh, as well is like in my personal life, I've just uh, gotten the vaccines so that I can go like because you have to have the yellow fever vaccines when you enter Brazil because in less than one month, uh, we are going to Brazil for three months minimum and even longer in South America. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I just got the vaccines. Also, our daughter got it because it's like uh, legally you have to have it to enter the, the country. So yeah, that was what I did, uh, what I did today. And today I wanted to share with you the different ways to earn extra income with Airbnb because there are like different ways. And uh, some people think like there, are, there is only one way to earn extra income with Airbnb. No, there is different ways which can be like suitable for I think everyone. Uh, so the first way uh, to earn extra income with Airbnb is to rent a room or to rent your uh, whole property. So either you're renting a room where you're living uh, either you're renting a whole property that maybe uh, it might be your second house, you're like using it only for your holidays. So why not uh, getting money from it when you're not there? This uh, like is a great option to like earn extra income. And you might uh, ask me, okay, yeah, but it's my vacation home. It's uh, not close to where I am. Uh, well, if it's not close to where you are, like there are more and more now people who are specialized in uh, like helping you and they are called co-hosts and they will help you manage your property be sure like uh, to like give the keys do the cleaning uh, welcoming uh, the guests taking care of uh, of it for you it's like you would do for a rental a normal rental but honestly First, you can get more money from it. Second, you have less risk and you have access to your property whenever you want, which is not the case with uh, the normal uh, rental system that we had until uh, Airbnb. Like There was other ways before Airbnb, but Airbnb did it more mainstream and now it's like easier to do it. So this is like one thing either for a whole house that you own or in your home different rooms that's uh, what we are doing we are, we are doing both uh, but uh, this is like perfect extra income because like it's help you pay everything pay a lot of things for me at the, the beginning uh, i did another video of this like it was helping me paying like the bills and now it's paying the bills plus uh, it's paying like for my trip for like uh, our trips to to uh, Asia last year was paid with it. Uh, this year we are going to Brazil thanks to this. So it's paying like things for us. It's an amazing extra income for us, having like the rooms and uh, the other property rented. Another way is to what we call arbitrage, and uh, what they call uh, basically you find owners who have properties and they want to like make more money from it and they don't know how to do it so you go with them you have to find the right owners and you basically rent uh, the property so you pay a normal rent to them and you decide and with them what is the rent that you want uh, to work on and you like any margin that you take you of course you have the bills and everything but uh, you like responsible from all the earnings except uh, the rent after taking the bills and taking the cleaning companies for instance so this is one thing usually like this is more like a business uh, when you decide to like really like okay i will go uh, to airbnb and this is what i want to do 
uh, for like as a as a job as a work. So this is another way, and um, is to do arbitrage. You have to find owners, and you're renting their place, and you're renting uh, their place on Airbnbs on other platforms with the authorization and with the contract and everything. Uh, so that's the second way. The third way, which is similar in a way, but it's not exactly the same thing, is what I called uh, co-hosting. And what I call, <laughs> what we call co-hosting, is when someone has a place, probably already has put it on Airbnb, but doesn't have time to take care of it, to manage the messages, to manage like the check-in, check-out, the turnover, the cleaning uh, team, and everything. So you're co-host uh, for them. Uh, it means that you're paid a percentage. Usually, it's working like this. You're paid a percentage. Um, it depends on the people, and you have to negotiate, but usually it's uh, like 15% um, of the bookings. Like what uh, like people get from the bookings, they have to pay you a percentage from it. You have to see how it's working and what is better like in terms of earnings, uh, either to like find an owner and rent the place and then get everything out of it, or to have a percentage for each bookings. So that's the third thing. And then the fourth thing, which doesn't require you to have any property or to do with a property, is Airbnb experiences. This is a new uh, thing, well, new, relatively new. And it's amazing for everyone who likes to show off their, their city, talk about like their passion, meet people who are like-minded and who do like, like to do something similar to them. So for instance, like anything, like if you like surfing and you uh, live close to the, the sea and you would like to teach uh, people how to surf, this can be an ex Airbnb experience. If you're like a foodie and you like to go to different restaurants, uh, you can, and you're a vegan, for instance, like me, you can take people to the best vegan restaurants uh, in your city. Anything, if one big thing that they are putting, um, they are emphasizing, uh, like putting the focus on right now, Airbnb, is the Airbnb experiences with animals. So, uh, for instance, one member of my group, she has uh, alpacas and uh, in her place, and she's doing an experience with this. It's a picnic uh, with the, the animals. It's, it's amazing. And there are a lot of different things that you can do with animals that could help you like do something for your passion um, meet like-minded people or even uh, educate people or something on something that they might not know and that uh, like yeah educate them on a topic for instance if uh, you're vegan and uh, some people might be curious about trying out some vegan food you can offer like to do to cook for them some vegan uh, local dishes. And some people might be vegan, some might not. They might be vegan curious. And you can like educate the people on it. So this is another way. And this is a way to like earn more money at it at the same time, but doing something you love. And this is an, another extra income that you can get. So those were like the four different uh, ways of getting extra income with Airbnb. The first one, uh, you're hosting in properties that you have, in rooms on uh, um, full property. Arbitrage is the second one, co-hosting and doing experiences. Really, I would recommend you, if you don't feel comfortable doing it in your home, own home or things like this, to try the Airbnb experience because this is amazing for you to, if you like to uh, share with people something you uh, like to do, your passion, it's an amazing way to like meet people and uh, get money at the same time. So that was it for today, about the different ways to earn extra income. Uh, I hope you found uh, some value in it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to comment and uh, or to send me a private message. And see you next time for another live. Bye-bye.